um, I guess I could start with a little story um, uh, about a, 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 I guess a gamble that didn't pay off. Um, I kind of assumed, because I hadn't heard anything different uh, this week, that Pastor Ben would be back this Sunday. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to do this on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, something big. you got to be there on Sunday. Something big is going to happen. <laughs> Yesterday morning, I got a text message from him saying, you know, you, you, had, a, you had a little bit of a sermon that you had uh, sort of followed up and wrote out. How's that <laughs> I mean, he started out and he, he beat around the bush. It was like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm trying to go to sleep. I work nights. Yeah. And uh, he, he says, how are you feeling? Because you know, I was a little sick this week. So I was like, I'm better. I'm better. That's good to hear. Yeah. Anything else? You know? And he keeps going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, just I, next week I'll probably be back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's your knee? Oh, that's what I'm, yeah. What about that sermon? Then he got to the point. <laughs> so, uh, which I told him I'd be ready. Only 30 minutes is all I need. Uh, I guess. So, no, I was not promoting me preaching earlier this week because I had no idea uh, <laughs> that this was going to happen. You're the big surprise. Yeah, surprise. Church, church. There you go. Well, church unexpected. Always um, be prepared. Yes. The, uh, the other little funny story kind of about this, um, some of this will sound kind of familiar. Uh, I thought I had, I mean, I had these great ideas. And I was, we were, on, we were going on our anniversary, we flew out to Las Vegas. And uh, on the plane, I can't sleep at 11 o'clock at night flight. I'm sitting there and it just, everything, I was just on a laptop. I was just typing it all out, all of these thoughts. And uh, I was like, wow, this is really, this is actually pretty good, I think. I mean, for me. And uh, and then uh, I got back and I've been looking at these free resources um, online for the church communications. There's a lot of stuff that uh, other churches give away for free. And uh, so uh, I started just a little sermon index um, of all his sermons or whoever speaks. And it asked for the scriptural reference, the link to the YouTube, the podcast, everything. So you can track everything. So I start backtracking. And I got to Church That Matters part two, part four. And I was like, well, what was the scripture for that? Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. Um, is that what you preached on? I mean, I listened to it. I was there. I edited the video, so I heard it three times. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. <laughs> so what I came with this, uh, let me get my clicker here. Uh, I was looking through some of those resources and uh, reading through some other messages that other churches do. And uh, uh, Life Church is one that puts out a ton of free stuff. And I found one that just kind of was like, oh, that, I like that. I, I like, I mean, I, I kind of like where they're going. It's a little different, but you know. So, um, <laughs> um, so it, it's a little bit, I guess, uh, I don't know what you call it, a shocking title of sorts. Uh, it'll get you thinking. Um, and I will promise you this morning, see, you gotta, you gotta come back next week <laughs> because you're not gonna hear me say, listen a hundred thousand times. One day I'm going to sit back there and count how many times Pastor Bill says, listen, like, listen, listen. And the only reason, when we were in Mexico, they're translating for it. So it's listen. Escucha. escucha. Listen. Escucha. escucha. Listen. Escucha. So I told one of the translators, Mandy, last day, I said, do, do y'all, do your pastors have little words that they kind of say all the time? She was like, oh, I can't really think. I said, listen, it's his. And now, and then every time that night, she was like, every time he said, listen, I switch, she was like, <laughs> so now, now in Mexico, she's probably going to hear a scooch and think, Pastor Ben. You know? <laughs> so, um, but um, this was a sermon, um, This the, the title of this sermon was preached by, I think his name was Craig Grossel. Grosh, uh, something like that, at Life Church, and his is stop going to church. 
<laughs> now, now, now you're really thinking, this is church under 24. And now you're thinking too, Pastor Ben, must be crazy for letting me speak. <laughs> why, would I, why would I say stop going to church? Well, this kind of got me thinking, and after reading through some of the what their sermon was on it, it comes out of a little bit of a different scriptural reference. But um, I, I started thinking about this and looking at different uh, references and, and things like that. And this this one, I mean, it kind of stuck with me. So this is a little bit different than what Life Church does, did, but they give lots of free stuff. So they give a Photoshop file and then you can change the colors and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, so their color scheme is different than mine. Um, so if you want to uh, turn in your Bibles, or as Pastor Ben says, turn on your Bibles, um, we've got it memorized, that's great too. Um, we're going to be in Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. And this is not Church That Matters, Part 4 Revisited. It may feel like that at times, but uh, it is fine. Um, I promise I will explain at the end what stop going to church means. Um, first, we've got to ask some questions of ourselves. Um, put them up. Why do we go to church? Because we have to. Is it the guilt? Is it somebody told us we have to go to church? Um, is it something we always done? I've always been in church, so I'm always been there. Um, is it expected? Yeah, yeah, it is. But is it expected of me? Here's some old wives. Do we go to church to fellowship with other believers? That's not pretty good. Uh, do we go to learn more about God's word? Yeah, all good answers. We go to worship God, obvious one. How do we worship? More ways than one. We worship in song, worship in giving, worship in answering the call of the Holy Spirit. So here's that reference. I put it up here. Um, I'm more of an American Standard guy, but on the flight, there's no Wi-Fi. So all I had access to was ESV. So I kind of latched onto the ESV version of this um, from Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. And it said, <clears throat> and he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by, cause, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking truth and love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ, from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. When each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. So that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot of good stuff. Um, so I hate I hate this word. I hate it. Millennials and I and I I would deny I'm a millennial. They say 81, 85. I'm gonna say not a millennial. I'm gonna protest that. Let's <laughs> unpack that. Um so he gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, and teachers. Um he gave to these positions. Well, who is that? Who are those people? Um, I think about, you know, sometimes it's easier to draw like a, an actual, well, who is that? Grace Paul. Pastor Ben, the um, leaders of various ministries, Sunday school teachers. What, what are they here for? What does it say they're here for? To equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ. Catch up on the PowerPoint here. So, God has placed these people in these different positions. Pastor Ben, your various uh, leaders of, of different groups, your teachers of uh, Sunday school discipleship, to do a specific thing, and that is to equip the saints. Who are the saints? Us. Yeah, um, if you believe in Jesus. Saint. So they're here to equip you. They're here to help you to take the tools that have give, been given to them and give them to you 
making further more and more disciples, building up the body of Christ. Um, so that's why we have, you know, positions in, in our church because they're kind of, they're conduits for service. Um, we have these leaders, different ministries, groups or, or whatever. It's, it's to equip others, it's to it's help build this church and equip everyone in this church with the things that they need um, to make more, to make other disciples. Um, have you ever thought about it in a way Therefore, I, the prisoner for the Lord. I'm so sorry. Somebody else is treating that shit. This might be better. This is probably better. Uh, I will tell you, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to be doing this very much because this thing is, I mean, this is eating into my head. I mean, we all know Pastor Ben has a small head. But I don't see how Pat Fowler had this thing on. I mean, it's like, that's why I kept, I was back there the whole time asking, saying, is it on right? Because it feels, does it feel right? None of this feels right. Um, maybe that's the <laughs> So what are we supposed to be doing as a church? We're supposed to be building up the body of Christ, making disciples. And as we build up the body of Christ, we, um, we will have more people to help us make more disciples and build up more body of Christ and continue it's a it's an ever uh, multiplying thing. So how do we do this? So that takes us to verse number thirteen, and it says, "Until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of fullness of Christ." So how I'm sorry, how do we how long do we do this? So I mean, I look at that and says, "Well, that's." That's a that's a great little never ending sort of thing. It's you know saying, well, once you figured it all out, God says you're done. You're you're good. If you figured it all out and you've done all there is to do, you're good. Well, you know you're never gonna <laughs> ever get to that point. It's an extension. <laughs> There's always more to be done. There's always more. Um. So anybody made it there? Figured it all out? Anybody? No. Oh. Um, we always know that we need more growth. We always need more spiritual growth. Um, so the purpose, um, well, listen, the next part kind of answers why we do all this stuff. In fact, we go back to verse 14. So that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every word of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness, in deceitful schemes so the uh the purpose of all this is use our god-given talents and abilities and employ the equipment by the leaders that we have to to use um to make more disciples um and as we grow we grow more spiritually and we have to we are able to guard up against these schemes of the world um as we serve we grow i will say um just give, I guess, a little bit of an example. Um, there's a lot of interesting things uh, as I've done different things in this church that I've got to a point where I'm going, wow, I've never thought I'd have done that, actually. You know? um, one big example is going to mission trip to Mexico. I've, I would have never thought that I was going to mission trip to Mexico. I mean, I'm 33, almost 34 years old. That ship, didn't that sail already? Isn't it for the younger people? Um, I know, I know, 33, 34, I don't know, I feel old. Um, <laughs> um, and if we go on to, if we go back to 15, rather speaking truth in love, whether speaking truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ. Verse 16, from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped when each part is proper is working properly makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love we're to be unified together in our work to fulfill the calling of god to use the talents and skills that he has given to us as you serve and continue to fulfill god's plan for your life you will flourish um no. 
this verse up here. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I have a couple other verses um, before these I get right here. Um, this is kind of what Life Church was going for. Psalm 92, 12 through 15 in the ESV. It says, The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. And in Jeremiah 17, 8, he is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when he comes for its leaves remain green and it is not uh, anxious in the year of drought for it does not cease to bear fruit. Uh, I found actually a couple other verses and if he wouldn't have asked me to do this, I would have probably rewrote this a couple times just thinking I know there's something else. I know there's something better. First uh, Peter 4 10 as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's buried grace. And Mark 10, 45. I put this in red because this is the words of Jesus. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Well, that also occurred in Matthew 20, 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ser served, but to serve as you give his life as a ransom for many. Um, so that was kind of cool. That was that's one of those things that's mentioned almost word for word, different books of the Bible. So I'm kind of getting to this point. You can tell I'm going fast, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> the um, let's see. There are many ways in which you can serve in the church and it could be small, it could be large. I mean, there's there's lots of places. Serve in whatever capacity God has for you. And that is when you stop going to church. And that's why I said the whole sermon was stop going to church. I'm not telling you not to, not to come back next Sunday. I'm telling you, look at what your role at when you come to church is not going to church, but be the church. Stop going to church. Be the church. Did you did you predict that back there? I I said, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of ways that you can be the church um, here at Grace Point. Um, I guess some of a little bit of what this came about is, um, you know, I know it's annoying sometimes the sign up sheets, and sometimes when Ron speaks, um, he sends around, you know, these lists that he made up uh, I could talk he's not here I could talk about uh, <laughs> um, opportunities for and, and this is what we currently have right now it's kind of outdated but this is what we have um, and looking toward what we're doing for next year um, and uh, I happened to get it a couple weeks after it passed around and was like oh it wasn't filled out much at all so that's why it's sort of, uh, I guess, God put it on my heart. Just kind of thinking about different different things in our church. Um, you know, you might think, you know, Ron's really good at finances and administration. He's got that covered. Well, he needs help. He needs help with this stuff. He can't do it on his own. Um, you might be thinking, well, the praise team is doing a good job. Thank you. But as you could tell this morning, we're a little bit light. <laughs> um, just for, there's a couple things. Marie is sick um, and Luke's out of town. And so we had a couple things going, but we can always use more people. Um, I'll give you a, a, well, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, he might say, like, it, it seems like that team, they do a good job. They might. They can still use your help. Uh, I'm not telling you you need to run these people out. Not that at all. Um, I'm just telling you, they desperately need help. <laughs> they need help. Uh, if you look at the sheet, there's a lot of repeat names. And bless their hearts. Because uh, <laughs> they're trying to do it all. But, you know, it, it, gets, it gets difficult at times. I know kind of personally, um, over the last couple of months, uh, it, was, it's kind of, it was kind of interesting. I had this moment where uh, I started out sort of helping Brittany with the music and planning and all that. And we planned that up. And then uh, 
you know, then the whole, I graduated with the master's and I said, well, I could, you know, communications director, I've done it before, I can do it here if you want me to. And Pastor Ben said, yes, do it. We need to do all this. Thing. Please, thank you. Okay, then <laughs> sign me up again. And then, uh, and then the whole, the youth thing, it's like, well, he needs a little help with the youth. Okay, I'll help a little bit with the youth too. Um, and then it gets to be kind of a point of, oh wait, I can't go do that because I got to do this. And it gets kind of, you get juggling things and you're not sure, well, I got to prioritize things now. I mean, do I want to, you know, do something, you know, like music wise, or do I want to get the live stream going? And that has been a pain. Uh, <laughs> it has been a pain, but we're, and I'm, I'm learning a lot about live streaming and, uh, and using a lot of free resources to teach me that thing. I'm actually learning more about that. That'll be, that'll maybe be good one day. Um, you know, there's plenty of ways that, um, that you could help. Like I said, I wouldn't say run out and sign up on all these, you know, all, all, every, every one of these things. No, that you would be crazy if you did that. <laughs> um, but there are positions in here that greatly need help and it gets to a point and it's kind of a concern of mine that um, some of the people who are taking on a lot, they're gonna get burnt out real quick. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> so, um, but um, there's a place for everyone. I know everyone's busy. Um, some people can't commit to things for one reason or another. That's, you know, everybody understands. Um, but I believe sometimes some people in the church maybe could serve, even in a small part. Uh, you could serve anywhere, anywhere in this church. Don't wait for someone to ask. Debbie Hill doesn't have time to assign you a role in this church. I have to bring her up because she does not <laughs> ask you to do something. Uh, that's, I guess, one of her spiritual gifts uh, is, uh, is, is nominating. I actually, nom I, I think I nominated her to lead the nominating team because she's perfect at it. She'd come around and say, oh, you would be great at, you know, and you're like, wait a minute, where did you even get that from? Uh, <laughs> But if you, I mean, you know, if you've been called, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, dead, dead, buried, rose again after three days, you're a believer. And I believe everyone has been called to do something. God has created you with gifts, with skills. Please use them in the church. Um, so my question um, leads me to this is for you to think about, think about this this thing and I know uh, this is a little bit of a different, you know. I went back, I did listen to Church That Matters Part 4 to make sure, because I was thinking, oh, man, I have somehow subtly like absorbed everything that Pastor Ben said and thought it was not all. That had to be what happened. And I started to listen to it and I'm like, well, no, 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 that doesn't sound like it either. No, that doesn't sound like it either. Um, <laughs> oh, so, and even I, I told him the other day when I realized this, because it was about a week ago, I said, I'm going to go in your office. I'm going to get every Bible that he has on there and put a post-it note on Ephesians 4, 11 through 16 and put, do not preach from this until I tell you until it's time. You know, like, <laughs> don't, you know, <laughs> don't keep going back to that because I've already, I've already went back there. So it's off limits. Um, so, Think about, are you doing your part? Are you fulfilling God's plan for you? Are you serving where God wants you? you know, don't wait, you know, today is, you can, you can always think about signing up for, for something. You know, we're coming up on next year and the positions are, I'm looking at this, there's gonna be tons of positions. And I will tell you from experience, like half of these things, it may seem like a lot just because Ron likes to email a lot. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's doable. These things are doable. Uh, they're not going to haunt you every week, every day, you know, for your input. I mean, it's it, usually every couple months some of these teams meet. Um, I know they're getting together some meetings up, coming up soon. Uh, so, um, but um, 
and, and I will just tell you too to uh, really be in prayer for uh, someone to send us someone to work with youth um, that's something that we've been trying to work on for a long time uh, I came to Pastor Ben and said have you get into youth ministry maybe they can come and you know for free <laughs> get some experience i mean experience you you know pay them an experience i mean experience is a big uh a big deal um and uh <laughs> there was a funny story about that is he yeah yeah i did okay he said yeah i called them they never called me back Okay. <laughs> There's an online form I did in five minutes. He was like, "Are you serious?" He probably he'd kill me for telling him. Uh, I was like, "It's an online form." I reached out to some Bible schools. Uh, we did put it on Facebook. We did get two interested parties that did not follow through, unfortunately, um, um, for whatever reason, uh, they didn't follow up on their end. But they seem like I mean, you, I get those little notifications, and you go, "Oh, oh, don't be the person," but no. Nah. Not. Um, and uh, uh, that's two pages. I will admit he did not lay this out very well. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it, I, there's something I, I tell you, you, you may see somebody, well, you know, there's a leader of this, but there needs to be an assistant leader on every group. Mm -hmm. So when somebody gets sick or has something happen or whatever, there's somebody to kind of. You know, jump in and take over and we have that happen a lot of times sometimes it's not planned but it happens um so just think about that um as you go through the week as we in, in, go through the end of the year um i can promise you this you are going to hear ron um probably say sign up sign up sign up coming soon i mean he, he will he will get back on that bandwagon again um so can i tag on just a little bit here jane go for it i would just like to ask everybody at grace point just to prayerfully consider what god's leading them for and then if if, if you hear that still small voice don't ignore it move on it i think a lot of us just want want that billboard to slam out in front of us that hey they need help here i'm going to go go to help there but you can try stuff out we're not going to nail you into something forever we definitely need help and i love the sermon you brought here this today oh yeah i'll it's say very you, on time you don't have to you know be committed to, if you get into something and say well this is not um never a million years would i have thought i'd be helping with youth but it just sort of was something that kind of popped up and that just needed to happen and so we okay we'll do it and uh and that's your 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 default view pastor pastor ben so that means anytime he's not out then you know i get that text message saying you are going to be coming tonight right because i'm not gonna be there <laughs> so um but i mean you know there's a lot of these teams i mean even if even if you don't know much about it, I mean, shoot, they'll teach you how to do it. I mean, um, it's just sometimes having that other person there, not to necessarily uh, tell everybody what to do or whatever, but just being there, just being there, supporting them. Even if you sit there and you just say, you know what, I'm, I'm on the team. I can't really commit. I'll pray for the team. Go for it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that can definitely help. Throughout my time spent with congregations, one of the things I've heard very frequently mm -hmm. is people say, well, nobody ever asked me. Yeah. Yeah. Does, everybody doesn't understand your skills or even your desires to want to try to get a skill. So let's just kind of try to fit in. Yeah, the, um, I think, I don't know, did, did y'all ever How did we announce the praise team? I think you said something like, if anybody's interested or can play an If you want to sing, show up, I'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. you said. If you have any sort of I was thinking talent. maybe, maybe yeah, any somehow, sort of musical talent. Come on. Maybe Why somehow that talent? was past the so <laughs> um, I, I end up probably end up just assuming. Well, you're going to have to do something before you come out with that dirty little word of good hope. <laughs> Take the Lord in prayer and see what he had. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think too. Yes, yeah, Sadie. She was holding her hand up. I was trying. I kept looking over there, and go, and she was doing this. 
Well, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, when we first moved in here, what did it take, like three months to get this thing to work? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was too tight. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, you know, there's always something we, uh, you say church unexpected. We had all those audio things worked out. I used to record the sermon audio and all the audio was direct out of that box. About a month ago, it just stopped for all of us. Just no idea why. We've troubleshooted it as much as we could. Haven't figured out why. I've since moved on to something else, but it's still, we're still, even today, asking, like, did you ever get that to work again? No. Um, so I, I, will, I will close on this one story you might not know about, but um, with the Sunday that I was talking about is the is the epic, we don't have internet Sunday. Oh, yes. And I was also, I worked, and I was sick and I was coming home from work and Maria was like, you just can't go in there. She just can't. I was like, no, I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make it happen. I will make it happen. Oh, um, and she's like, no, I'm texting Brittany. You can't do it. So I said, we'll just do YouTube. Well, I get here, you know, like 30 minutes, 20, 15 minutes early. And uh, she's like, yeah. I was like, well, I mean, I have a guitar. I can walk up. If you just want to pull something out, why don't we just do YouTube? Well, we don't have internet. So uh, I did a little hot spot, tried to get us two videos, only one had lyrics, so we only did one song. Uh, so, you know, it was our, it was Grace Point at its finest, unexpected, you didn't know what was flying at you that, that week. Um, that was, uh, we can call it Roselle and Unexpected too. I think that's when she got up on the drum kit and started you know, Oh, yeah, that was her meltdown day too. Yes, <laughs> she had a total meltdown. Brittany went out, Nathan went out, Walt, I'm left. Left. Walt had to leave. He was Walt sick. had to leave. So here, Pastor Ben, getting ready to go. All right, we're getting to go. Thinking, um, Nathan's computer, it's a Windows. I'm a Mac person. <laughs> he didn't like just put the PowerPoint up. 
So I'm over there going, um, what was the button that we figured out that was it? And I finally just start show and it popped up. And that's when the, and then Nathan come back and goes, tell Pastor Ben to bring my computer home. And then they were gone because she was having this meltdown. Well, they, they probably, they've heard this too before. At the end of that service, after tired, I don't know what was going on with me or whatever, Pam says, come here. And she motions me around, and Marie is over there with them. And that's when Luke and Taylor were here for the first time. And they said, Luke here plays guitar, the drums, bass, keys, plays it all. And uh, I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's great. That's great. <laughs> you know, you want to, I mean, <laughs> when can you start? <laughs> because, uh, uh, you know, we can use some extra, uh, a lot of extra help. I mean, it's, been, it's a huge weight off having him here, even when it's just us here, because when it's just me, sometimes it's kind of like, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but then when we have him, Scott, we got it all together. I mean, we can do so much more um, musically and stuff like that. But that was that was a godsend. That was a day when, as the music, we we didn't do too well that day. I mean, one YouTube video that I was able to download off a mobile hotspot, and that was it. And God sent us Luke, and up, up until like this Sunday, he's been here every Sunday. Mm -hmm. He even told me last, uh, was it last week? It was two weeks ago. He pulled his phone out. I've seen this done before. My phone's back there. Um, he said, um, so me and my wife, and I go, <laughs> usually what that means is we're not going to be here. Right. And so I just said, no. <laughs> I said, no. Wait, you say no. No. I know what you're about to ask. No. He said, what? What do you think of? I said, people start out that. That means they're going to uh, say, well, I can't be here next week. He goes, oh, no. He said, you don't have to worry about that. I was like, well, good, because, and then he told me the next week, he said, oh, by the way, we're going to visit my, my parents in Fort Mills. We're going to go here next week. I was like, you told me she was not going to leave me. So um, I, will, I will brag on him. Um, He's very musically inclined. Just, very. Just the way that he can kind of call us. Listen, we all have big personalities, right? You have a big personality? Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and look, I have one. Brittany has one. Marie's very calming most of the time. Um, <laughs> speaking. But he has a way of, like, allowing us all to communicate with each other very well. And it's just his presence, for whatever reason, he seems to kind of diffuse things sometimes when I might be a little worked up. No, um, but you know, and I, I think it's been a great addition. And his wife is super nice to go to any time for her. But that was just a, like one of those fluke blessings it's that showed up. The way he and, and the connection is that's um, Pam Jody's sister's daughter's husband. I got it. I got it. Um, and I did, I'll just tell you. I mean, and sometimes he's up here going, no, no, no we should do it like this. Well, he is way more of a musician than I am. <laughs> right, Brittany's going back to work, which is a big deal for her and her family to change that. And, you know, her time with her has mm -hmm. gotten less frequent, you know, and she's still been committed to being here. And I just think it's been a really big help. It has. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Very. You never underestimate what the Lord can do and yes. will do. And yes. I think with Amen. that, the thing to remember is when things may be from a human standpoint, because it's really easy for things to seem discouraging or even hopeless. You know, we get into our places of really thinking, what, how can this be fixed? Mm -hmm. There's no way to fix it. Like that Sunday when I had to leave with my daughter, I'm thinking, well, everything's just, if that's it. Everything's ruined. I, nothing, there's no way to make this better. My fatalistic attitude came out. And then that's the same Sunday that God decides to bring in the surprise of a blessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. I think it's just a really great reminder to his children that he's there and if we trust him and we wait on him he will provide but we have to be willing to put in the work also to serve where he calls us so I agree with you James I think it's really important that and you've spoken to my heart I know and you know there's there's stop going to church be be the church I like that that's really good and um, I guess 
you know, when you when you go forward, you can pray about two things. One, what would God have you do? And pray that that's in there. Pray, Scott, God sends another Luke type situation. It doesn't have to be for music. Although we can never have too many musicians. <laughs> I'll just say that, especially really good ones. <laughs> I mean, like I was saying, when we were up here, he'll be like, oh no, we need to do this. this. I, I can play guitar. I'm not like your level of like, I mean, he's good, good, good. You know, he, he, Scott one time said, I don't know if I can do this. I said, Scott, you're fine. He's really good. He's just trying to help us. You know, He's imparting his knowledge and his skills onto us to make us better musicians. Um, so that kind of ties back in. Um, but that is all I have. I actually thought I was going to end up a lot sooner than that. Um, I will say, um, since you weren't here last week, Walt, and you piped in, as head of the prayer ministry, I will ask you to close us in prayer. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like to even before we start to get that place, it's like, think of this a little bit as an invitation as well. Not an invitation so much to go to the altar and, and, and get salvation, because I think probably most of us have got that here already, but ask yourself how God would use you. How some of these things, where can you plug in? What can you do to not become overloaded for those of you that are already plugged in in 15 different places? So let's go to the Lord. Lord of Heavenly Father, we do thank you so much for this day. Lord, we thank you for the message that you brought to us through James. Lord, we, we, we pray that you put that position it properly in our hearts, that we understand what he's saying, and that, Lord, that we're responsive to it in a way that glorifies you. Lord, that you would, uh, you would just become the spirit that moves us to be the church, Lord, to be your church, to be your bride. Lord, we ask this all in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us at Grace Point Church. To find out more information about Grace Point Church, go to our website at www.gracepointsc.org. That is gracepointsc.org. You can also connect with us on social media through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as YouTube. To listen to sermons and other content from Grace Point Church, you can go to our YouTube page or subscribe to the Grace Point Church podcast available on all major platforms. You can watch our live stream of our Sunday morning service through YouTube or on our website. We'll have links to we'll have link to that on our Facebook page as well. For Pastor Ben Hill and Grace Point Church, I'm James Hicks. Thank you for tuning in.